is Manny O'Mitchell. I'm 27 years old. Uh, I'm from a small town. I was born in Shelby, North Carolina, but I was raised in Mooresboro, North Carolina. Grew up in a single parent home with just my mom and my little brother. And my mom is my hero, so shout out to all the moms. Um, and she encouraged me to place education right here at the very, very top, and everything else that I wanted to do would fall into place. Does everybody understand that? That education should be what? Number one, right? If you play a sport, raise your hand. If you don't play a sport, it's cool. It's okay. Um, for all my athletes, you can probably best answer this question. If you mess up on a play, or if you do something wrong, what is that coach gonna make you do? Make you run, right? So running was something that I always considered to be a punishment. Does everybody agree with that? So you do something bad, you have to run, right? So I didn't want to, to run for fun, basically. So I told my coach, you know what, no, that's not for me. But who knew, thinking back then, that something that I hated would end up being the love of my life, literally. It's something that I do and get to travel the world to do for a living. Um, but in 2009, when I graduated, I was faced with a decision to either turn professional in the sport or to continue my education and go on to grad school and get a job actually doing something that I got my degrees in. So I chose to train very, very hard for the 2012 Olympic Games that, which were held in London. So, four guys running one lap as fast as they can. They pass off a baton about the size of this microphone and the fastest team wins the race. So, the gun goes off. I'm running as fast as I can. I get to 100 meters, everything's cool. I get to 200 meters, which is halfway of my race, and my leg snaps in half. No, that, seriously, that really happened. All right, so, continue on the story. My leg snaps as I'm running, so what would you do if you were running in the gym right now and your leg just said, Come on. what would you do? Stay there, cry like a baby, right? Well, that's not, that's not what I did. I continued running on a broken leg. Now, I finished my race, and I passed the baton on to my teammates. We ran the fastest time ever recorded in the Olympic Games for that relay. Now, the next day, obviously, I could not run. Um, I couldn't even walk, honestly. Um, my teammates would go on, and they would win a silver medal by virtue of getting second place in the entire world. Give it up for my teammates. Give it up for my teammates. But they're not here if you're looking for them. <laughs> but by virtue of me also being on that relay, I received one of these right here. This is an Olympic silver medal for those who have never seen this before. I just casually have it chilling in my pocket. Yeah, I know. Um, but you may ask, why, why did you continue running? Well, there was a country depending on me to get back to that finish line. My mom, my hero, was depending on me to get back to that finish line. Everybody that was watching on TV for the United States cheering for us were waiting for me to get back to that finish line. But what's most important is how I was able to do that as well. How many of you know what it means to be fit and to be healthy? is like keeping your body in order so that you can do sports and be able to, you know, stay fit. Let's give him a hand. That's perfect. That's good.